The Home tab is your franchise dashboard. Keep track of your goals, division standings, and... View your team's save snapshot. Quickly review the league's top performers and the current... Welcome to week this show. This is how you access the new player health screen. This is the player card. This is the development. This is the abilities tab. Here you can... Easily, here are some recommendations to get you started.
Meeting your season goal comes with higher rewards. Welcome to your franchise staff. Staff points when you have to see what some talent trees make you select a path to...
today. So very early on in this game, first quarter, no score, and this offense hoping to change that right here and get some points on the board. Myers' kick is good, and the Seahawks grab a 3-0 lead. to return and he won't quite make it to the 25 coming to the line here to begin their next drive the Seahawks offense they finished off their opening drive of the campaign with a field goal on the last drive now they'll search for a touchdown here on this goal around first and ten Pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. Grover Stewart coming right up the gut. Gets in there for a loss of nine. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. And the Colts pick it up. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. Had some good yardage there, too, before he fumbled that football, Charles. Yeah. this offense gets set to take over. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Will Disley, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. Wilson leaves this one with Penny. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. That's a play to take note of there for the defense, I think, in the future. If you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double-team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Now look at this, fourth and 12, and they're going to line up to go for it. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. Flush to his right. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. 27 yards, a big play there on fourth. From midfield now, here's Wilson. Oh, into a sea of defenders, had intercepted. Picked up by Corey Willis, and they are going to set up. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. There's Wilson to throw. Oh, he tries to get it to Metcalf, but it's intercepted. Picked off around the 37. And the return stop. Just a few yards shy of 
Newman to the line here to begin their next drive. The Seahawks offense. And two picks thrown here in this first half alone. We'll see how that affects him. Can't wait to see where his confidence is because the great ones, they'll throw four or five picks, and while it'll hurt their team, it won't hurt their confidence. They'll think something was just wrong with the ball or the wind <laughs> or something was funny. It's never about them. That's how they stay so into the moment and into the game. And it is incomplete. take over the football. On first and ten, it's Wilson eluding the pressure right. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. To throw again on second down. Wilson, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Quinny Payne in there to drop him, and that will go in the books as the first sack of his young NFL career. Congratulations, young man. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. And he'll get this to the 40, but that's still going to be a few yards short of the first down. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Here we go. It's Wilson on fourth down. And he'll be taken down with a first down as they get about 14 out of that one. And we go to the two-minute warning. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here of what could be their final drive. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 78 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Now Rashad Penny. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. He's brought down there by Kenny Moore. Throwing now is Wilson. He'll get that complete to Parkinson. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. That'll pick up the first down for Seattle on a gain of 18. They'll roll him out right. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Now that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. On second down, here's Penny. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow, wow. I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but now you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. And here's Rodgers to return. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions, get out of bounds, gain some yardage. Then when the clock hits seven seconds or left, now you get a decision. Are you in field goal range, or is it Hail Mary time? Because from seven seconds down, you don't want to take a shot that you're going to have another play. We'll see how they handle it. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts. 
as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now Eason. And that's into the hands of Mo Alley Cox, the tight end. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Eason, that catch good for five. It's third down. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. And this one is way through. That'll top this game here in the final seconds. So a money kick there in the final seconds. And now, barring any hijinks on the kickoff here, partner, I think you and I, we're going to settle in for a little overtime. And I wouldn't have it any other way. This has been a dogfight all through regulation. No reason to think it won't continue in the extra period. And he is out of bounds up around the 14-yard line. Wilson to throw. He's going to float this one deep right side. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Corey Willis. And what an effort on the final play of regulation. All zeros on the clock, and we are headed to OT. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. And they will play it safe here and bring this one out to the 25. Well, the Colts now, they're ready to get the football back. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now, the ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A 14-yard gain for Indianapolis and also move the sticks. So he hooked up with a veteran there, and in overtime, that's not a bad idea. Go with the age and the experience. Yeah, because sometimes the young guys, they give you the fresh legs and give you all that bounce. But in this type of a situation, sometimes his legs slow down a little bit as the enormity of the moment overwhelms them. The veteran guys, they tend to come through. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Here's Eason to throw. Campbell making the catch. Seven yards to pick up there. Second down. It's Mack. Overtime with less than two minutes to play, and we are still all tied. So first and ten now from the 30. Eason to throw. Take it in by Pascal out left. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. The passing game for the Colts finding its stride. Another first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He's got Jack Doyle. A gain of six there on first. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner in OT. So the game winning touchdown came through the air in overtime. Four quarters wasn't enough. We were treated to a really good one, weren't we, partner? That we were, and I just love being able to be witness to a game like this. 
all the way through. Who's going to win it? Oh, what? We're getting overtime? Great for us. A lot of tension on the field. Very tough. Not a surprise it ended with a passing touchdown. That's the way we play in the NFL. But the execution was pretty darn good. So for the Colts, it was a game that could have gone either way, but they get the touchdown in a...